Hey everybody, welcome back for round three. Um, we're on the draw here, so even though I don't have any of my planes in hand, or any of my swamps, I think this is probably a keep. I have something to play the first couple turns, and since I'm on the draw, I have a higher chance of drawing into my other colors, or drawing into um, my uh, fork in the road, or whatever the case may be. Ooh, looks like we're playing against another green deck. With all these, with all these green decks, I've been going up against. It's no wonder the green dried up after the first pack. Green black, huh? Ooh, you got one of the fork in the roads I passed. You know, I see, I see fork in the road being played a lot in, um, in just every you know regular delirium deck, and I'm just not sure that it's very good outside of outside of um, three color decks to be honest I'm not sure that I really want to be playing two mana to, to put a land in my hand just, just seems like a waste of a spell slot to me Well, I really, really do need to draw into land very soon here. And I have all of my black cards in hand. Well. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all that he's willing to make that trade. With my mana issues, he may just run over me here, honestly. Um, he may have Pat Guardian in hand. Honestly, I did pass one. And five mana is a lot of mana to be holding up, so I'm just going to pass without attacking. Yep, there's the Pack Guardian. If he cracks in with the Pack Guardian, I'll probably do I'll probably uh, double block. I may get blown out by a combat trick, but with so many um With so many cards I can't play in my hand, I just need to slow him down a little bit. I'll probably just take the damage here. I mean, I still have 14 life, but I, I just really, I really, really need to start. Wow! A second accursed witch. I don't want to trade my hinterland logger for that. I want to trade my near east chap chaplain for it. Or he can just do that and. <laughs> Leave me completely screwed. I mean, there's nothing I can do, but I, I basically have to make the trade. And just take two a turn, and th this is... I'm dead. I'm just so dead. <laughs> there's nothing I can do at this point. So, I mean, he swings in, I flash in Pack Guardian, I, what, block his wolf, double, I block his wolf with my 2-2, two -two, double block his Watcher in the web, and kill it, take one from Rancid Rats, take two more next turn, go down to four, 
I mean, it's the best play I have, but honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. That double infectious infectious curse is just going to run me over. I mean, that obsessive Skinner isn't going to turn on anytime soon, but kind of sucks having to get rid of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I kept it. I kept a hand that should have paid out, but it just. I mean, there's not really anything I can do when I don't draw into my lands. See if I can draw into anything. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. This is just game. Um. I mean, I would have gone down to one next turn, and then there's nothing. I I have no life gain in my deck, so. I mean, I have tenacity, and that's it. Um, double infectious curse. I don't have anything to destroy enchantments. Uh, I don't have any way, to. I don't have any way to exile cards. <laughs> I honestly... I, the answer to this matchup is to just draw into my other color. To draw into my lands. That's really the only thing that I can do. Yes, I would love to play first. This isn't bad... Um, I think I'll drop the Toppelgeist on turn 1 and then go Shard of Broken Glass on turn 2 and try to get my Delirium turned on like ASAP. Because um, if I can get this turned on quickly, I can just like start tapping down stuff. He's getting a slow start, so that's good for me. Although, drawing into a bunch of lands, less good for me. Well, those would have been nice to actually draw into. Um, I think I'm going to play the Dauntless Cathar this turn because the Near Heath Chaplain just, just trades straight up for the Scarecrow once I move over the Shard. And the Cathar I can, I can drop and move the Shard over and, uh... I can drop and move the shard over and it'll be ready to go next turn. That's very good for me. <laughs> I guess he's just digging for more lands. Well, that's unfortunate. I really would have liked to keep that online. Well. 
I think I'll keep trying to hit... Ah, I hit my Gidrog monster. I think I'll just keep trying to hit um, Delirium because I don't know when when I'm going to get to a point where I can't uh, where I can't attack in anymore. And I do have other Delirium cards in my deck. Well. Less with my Moreland Drifter in the graveyard. He does have Delirium. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm just going to kill this Rancid Rats. There we go. That puts me at Delirium. Of course, I think I just milled my last Delirium card. That's alright. I got a token out of it. I didn't let him flip his kindly stranger. I don't really mind him blocking right here because uh, uh, I'm going to get tokens out of it and that'll basically put him on a very, very quick clock. And uh, Tenacity should just end this game. Although declare declare uh, declaration in stone would really hurt right now. Let's um. How do I want to? Do I want to show him the obsessive Skinner in case? Wait, did I? No, I played it last game. I'm going to throw down the Obsessive Skinner in case he has um, some sort of removal or whatever. This way I at least get, you know, another point of damage in. Yeah, okay. Um, so, no tenacity. Because that'll just put me at five damage. And I'll just uh, throw a counter on one of the spirits. Basically, he has to get. Um, he has to get Declaration and Stone to pull out of this. Okay. That worked quite a lot better. Of course, he was very, very slow, so <laughs> that worked in my favor. Um, he does have quite a bit of removal, so Unruly Mob wouldn't be horrible here. I think... I want to go more aggressive, so I'm going to drop the Graph Mole and bring in Unruly Mob. Because the Graph Mole doesn't really block out anything from his deck anyway that, you know, a Stoic Builder wouldn't already. And, um, with all of his removal spells, I think Unruly Mob will become a real pain in his backside. I don't think there's anything else I really need to bring in. Ethereal Guidance is still an option, but 
I don't know what I would take out for it. Maybe strength of arms. Really depends on how wide I can go, honestly. Um, he really wants to drag the game out longer. So I think I'm going to try to try to use Ethereal Guidance to just slam the, the door shut on him. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I have my Sinister Concoction. I can run that out, out on turn one to just threaten anything he plays. And uh, I have two drop, three drop. And now I have four drop. Oh, those rats are going to be annoying. Let's see. What would be really nice is if I picked up, like, um... Um... What do you call? Dead weight. That would be really useful. I think I'm just going to run the vessel out. So I have the option of cracking it next turn. Because Stoic Builder isn't going to do me any good on this board. I, I, still, I can't attack with it. I would have swung in with the Quilled Wolf and trade for the Rancid Rats. That really wasn't an issue. I just didn't want him bouncing it with Farbog Revenant. What did he pick up? He grabbed an Accursed Witch. Okay. I think I just want to let him trade for the Quilled Wolf. I mean, popping it with Explosive Apparatus would have been an option, but I don't really want to... I don't really want to, you know... I want to save it for his Accursed Witch, basically. Um, the question is, do I pop the vessel and get my... and get my 1-1s, one or do I just kill the witch? I think I just kill the witch. N no. I think I just killed a witch. I don't really want him swinging with me on that thing. And, um... Yeah, I'll just pass the turn and throw down Pat Guardian at the end of his turn. So, I'm fighting an uphill battle with that Infectious Curse online, but um, my board's in a better state than his is. The first thing I want to do is I want to see if he's going to... what he's going to do with that Duskwatch Recruiter. So he's not going to block. Um, I 
I think I think I want to run out this stoic builder and uh, and uh, get this forest so I can pitch it to sinister concoction if necessary. I, I'm I'm struggling to find a place to to crack this vessel, but. The question is, do I want to kill that Deskwatch recruiter or not? It's going to get him a lot of value if I don't kill it, but I don't know what other... I don't have any other removal, that's that's the problem. I don't have any other removal in my hand. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and kill it now. Because like, I don't want him grinding out value with that thing. I might have wished I could have saved it for a bigger creature later, but so he's going to want to play that pack guardian. Ugh, that puts me in a bad spot. I just don't have a way to deal with that rancid rats. I'm gonna swing into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna No, you know what? I'm gonna give him the wolf. I'm gonna let him eat the wolf. Because I don't care about the wolf. Yes, I know you're gonna eat it, and that's fine. But the wolf isn't doing me any good right now. And this lets me get a couple flyers online. The annoying thing is that he's double dipping on life gain right now, which is really putting him ahead of me on on uh, on life totals. Well, that's a thing. Let's, uh, let's, hmm, shoot. I guess I have to do this now. Um, I, I didn't realize I was going to have to choose my target before I could crack the vessel. Oh well. Too late now. I got rid of that. Ah, oh, shoot.
Well, attacking in with my spirit isn't going to do me any good right now. But... I can double block to trade for that Kessig Dire Swine. I'm kind of in a bad spot though. He's he's gonna be cracking at me for two per turn and he gets that that life back as well. So even though I'm kind of stabilizing my board, I'm in a really bad spot. Like I need I need tenacity or something. So, are you going to crack in with your dire swine, or are you going to, what are you going to do here? Oh, he's going to go for it. Get that extra two points of damage in, I guess. It would be really nice to not draw lands right now. On tenacity. I need it like this turn. If I put that counter on my spirit, I can't block with it. What does that do for me? If I Put it on something else. Um, so I go down to three next turn. Yeah, I mean, I guess it does buy me an extra turn. Well, now it just doesn't matter. I mean, I can ethereal guidance <laughs> and it's not going to matter. Just doesn't that life gain just completely wreck me. Th this is just game right here. He swings in, I take one and trade with the Cursed Witch, and then I take two next turn from Double Infectious Curse. There's nothing I can do about that grindy life drain stuff, especially when I'm not drawing any of my removal. You know, I mean, I had the explosive apparatus, but all it really did was put me on a clock. I mean, I needed, like, dead weight or something. I guess I did draw most of my removal. Um... 
I don't know. I need like a faster start or something. I don't know what I could have done. He had a very good deck here. Very good grindy sort of deck. Um, but yeah, that's game. Um, it wasn't too bad. My deck was kind of, you know, a slipshod affair anyway. So going going two and one with it, I'm, I'm not too unhappy about that. Anyway, that's uh, that's the end of the draft, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you next time.